So here we are at uh, Trevina in Blackbridge Road, just on the south side of Woking. This is a house that was built, uh, finished off in uh, June of 2020. And the, uh, the owners built it for their own occupation, but they're now moving on. So you've got uh, plenty of parking space there, you can see at the front of the house. And then here we move into this uh, rather large entrance hall. We've got uh, polished porcelain flooring here. And uh, it's all underfloor heating on the ground and the first floor. So we'll have a wander through to the TV room and the study in a moment. But first of all, we'll go into the sitting room which is this uh, enormous room here. You can see the uh, bifold doors at the end there, out onto the garden. And the double doors there that lead into the kitchen. In the garden there you can see the uh, log cabin, as they call it used for storage at the moment, could be a home office I guess with a bit of uh, work and also the bandstand there, we'll head out there later. So coming through here, this takes us into this amazing kitchen. More than just a kitchen, kitchen, dining room, sitting room. This is the real heart of the house. Again with the uh, polished uh, porcelain floor, underfloor heating like I said. Uh, you can see the reflection there, I think, of the LED lights under the worktops, which uh, gives a good effect at, uh, at night. So, turning here first of all, we've got this uh, nice little seating area with a big telly on the wall. TV's not included, I'm afraid, but could be available by separate negotiation, uh, as could the uh, log cabin that I mentioned earlier. That's available by separate negotiation too, uh, as is the... Uh, the stainless steel barbecue, I hope you can see, just behind the uh, barbecue area there, and also the hot tub. All those are all available separately if you'd like. So space for this large dining table here, that seats eight, possibly ten actually at a squeeze. This enormous island unit here with lots of space for stools there. Now, this kitchen is uh, very smart, has lots going for it. We've got a fridge freezer in the corner there, and then a second fridge freezer at the far end there. We've got a dishwasher just there, and another one just there. There's pan drawers, filler iron box sink. Uh, we've got this uh, fibering induction hob. And I can make this work. Let's see if we can do this. Here we go with a uh, nifty rise up extractor fan. So you can just have that up as and when you're cooking, but it doesn't get in the way when you're not. There we go. That's going to make a racket now as when talking, but never mind. I'll have to put it back down again in a second. Okay, so we have here on the left. Uh, Neff ovens, we've got uh, two conventional ovens on the left there you can see, and then a microwave on the right. We've got two warming drawers down below, and also a wine cooler, oh, and a reflection of an estate agent there, uh, and a wine cooler there on the uh, bottom right hand corner. Bit of shelving going on there too. So plenty of storage everywhere. Let me turn that off now so we don't get deafened. There we go. Uh, and back to here, we've got the utility room, the magic light that comes on. You can see everything there for yourself. That door there leads to the garage, uh, double garage there. Hey, by the way, while I'm here, we've got these lovely oak doors with the um, rather nice uh, um, patterns on. And then we have, uh, this is a large walk-in larder cupboard, floor to ceiling shelves, that's all good. The other cupboard on the right hand side is the 
uh, media cupboard. Um, on the media side, the whole house is uh, wired. It's got ubiquity um, uh, broadband, so very uh, reliable and uh, powerful uh, broadband. Uh, the log cabin at the end uh, also has um, wired broadband too. It doesn't rely on Wi-Fi. So that's that. Here we go. This is the downstairs loo. Also with a magic light, hopefully. There we go. I'll pop out of the way. Uh, so you can see there, all the smart basin and tap. And, uh, and loo. Back into the entrance hall again. And here we have the study. And cloaks covered there. And then a further TV room here as well. So loads of accommodation all the way through, all on a really good scale. All presented beautifully as well. Like the uh, feature wall there with the different wallpaper to the rest of the room. So there we go, uh, let's head on upstairs, give that a shot again. And here we have five bedrooms upstairs. There's underfloor heating upstairs as well, um, slightly unusually, which is great. Uh, so up here we have a uh, nice big landing with a big skylight above, letting plenty of light. Through here is the master bedroom. Master bedroom has two dressing rooms and an ensuite. So his and hers, this is hers currently. There's the ensuite we'll get to in a second. And there's his. Through here into the ensuite. And we have a fully tiled shower cubicle, walk in, nice glass screen. A uh, freestanding basin. And a loop. So there we go. Into the main part of the room. So it's an enormous bedroom. Huge bed there, and it just fits in nicely. Bit of storage. And a view over the garden, slightly miserable day today. But hopefully you get the picture. More storage in the uh, corners. So that's that room. Uh, across the way here we have two further levels. Come in here. Cupboard doors need putting on there, but that's uh, next week's job, I think. So another double room here. And this leads through into the Jack and Jill bathroom. So there's bedroom three across the way. So on the right here we have the uh, another ensuite, another shower cubicle rather. And uh, basin and loo. And that takes us through into this uh, third bedroom. Perhaps the second actually, it's slightly bigger than the other one. Again a big double with its own dressing area. Back out onto the landing. Hope you've got your bearings. And then we have two more bedrooms, so five in total. Another double. And actually this one is number four, isn't it? Because the other one next door is number five. So we've got to five bedrooms in total. There we go, space for a big wardrobe there. And then the family bathroom. Again, it's all very smartly uh, done up with uh, very luxurious fittings. So there we go, that's the inside of Trevina. We'll head outside, hopefully it'll stop raining in a second, and I can show you what's in the garden. So here we are back in the kitchen again, just about to head outside. Hasn't stopped raining, so I'm gonna brave it anyway. Uh, these uh, bifold doors completely fold away, so you have this huge opening here, leading out from the uh, garden, from the kitchen rather, into the garden. So that's a uh, very good arrangement on a nicer day than today. So out here we have this very large patio, space for plenty of seating. 
there and there. Uh, we have this rather nifty bar area for entertaining. There's that stainless steel barbecue which is available by separate negotiation and the hot tub as well. This is the log cabin which I think I said earlier was uh, available by separate negotiation. I think, I think this is included anyway actually. Uh, and then this rather smart bandstand which is a fairly new addition to the house. If you can hear me over the rain on the roof. So a great place for sitting if it's a day like today but warmer then this would be a smashing place to uh, host a party. Looking back towards the house. There we go. Rain's getting worse. So I think I will say my goodbyes. Hope you like the tour. Uh, if you'd like to see the house in person, of course, then please do give us a call and we'd be glad to show you around uh, actually rather than virtually. So thanks for watching. Goodbye.